Hey guys, welcome back to Bumby TV. Guys, they're going to be checking out Amedi that I, I and my father are one. This was actually said by Jesus. So they're going to be reacting to this. I actually made mention of this in my past video and someone recommended this for me. So guys, sorry for that. Let's check this out together. The big question remains, where does he say I'm God? Or where does he say worship me? Or where does he say that I and God Almighty are one and the same thing? Is there a single Christian who can give me a verse that me and God Almighty are one and the same thing? Is there a Christian in this vast audience who can give me? John 14. No, what does it say? John 14. What does it say? That I am... Right. John, no. I, the reference is incorrect. 14, no, the reference is not 14.6. The reference is, is, the quotation is right. I and my father are one. The quotation is correct. But it is John chapter 10 verse 30. Please, please, silence, please. The reference is John chapter 10 verse 30. Now, you know, if I ask, you will have the chance to ask questions, my dear brothers. Please sit down. Would you please sit down? I'm sorry, we're going to take questions later. We're not having interruptions now. Please, would you sit down now? Thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Didat. Yes, sir. Stewards. I am... Silence, please. I am, I am reading from my head. And my brother Shorosh just confirmed it, that it is John chapter 10, verse 30. Now, the context. You see, in 40 years, for 40 years, I have been talking to people. And when this verse is quoted, that, that Jesus said, I and my father are one. The verse is there in the Bible. You can't contradict that. I'm asking, what is the context? And believe me, in 40 years, I have not come across a single learned man of Christendom, a single man in 40 years. Who could give me the context? Yeah, you can open the book. Yes, by opening the book. But no man in my life, 40 years now, no Christian with the name could give me the context. You, ha you have to open the book. Without opening the book, you'll never be able to give you the context. Now, let me give you the context. You see? The context is verse, starting from verse 23. It says, Jesus walked in Solomon's porch in the temple of Jerusalem. Then came the Jews around about him, means they surrounded him, and said, how long does that make us to doubt? If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. They're alleging that he's talking ambiguously. He's not putting forth his claim clear enough. That's a charge, a false charge. Because we know he didn't speak ambiguously. He put forth his claim that he is the Christ, he is the Messiah. But the Jews want to pick up a fight. They didn't like his preaching. Him calling them, you generation of wipers, you whited sepulchres, you wicked and adulterous generation, you fools, you snakes. Would you like to hear people addressing you like that? And the Jews were not a people to forget in a hurry. So, they find the man alone, they surround him, brandishing finger in his face. Come on, tell us. Why don't you tell us? They want to pick up a fight with him, so they can work themselves into a frenzy and give him a good bashing. Get their own back. So Jesus says, I told you, and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish. He said, my Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. 28, verse 28. Verse 29, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Verse 30. I and my father are one in this to see that once the man has accepted faith he remains in faith I as the teacher sees to see to that as well as God Almighty sees to that in purpose we are one but the Jews were looking for trouble and if you're looking for trouble you you don't have to go very far you get it around the corner 
So they picked up stones again to stone him. So Jesus says, many good works have I showed you from my father. For which of those works do you stone me? So they say, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. Kufa. Because the thou being a man makes thyself a god. You are a man, you're claiming to be God. There's another false charge. First false charge was that he was talking ambiguously. Now another false charge that you're claiming to be God. That's the Jews alleged. The Christian agreed with the Jews. They said he did make such a claim, but he was entitled to it. Let us hear what Jesus says. The Jews say he blasphemed. The Christians say he did, but it is no blasphemy because he was entitled to. What does Jesus say? He says, is it not written in your law? Verse 31. Is it, verse 32. Is it not written in your law? Law means the Torah. I said, ye are gods. Ye, you, are gods. If he, God Almighty, called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, I mean the prophets are called gods in our language, man. The prophets. God Almighty speaks to Moses and he says, Behold, I have made you a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. In the book of Psalms, 82nd Psalm, verse 6, it says, Ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. That's the genius of the Jewish language. That when a person is called God, he is not God. Like in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, the Bible says, And the devil is the god of this world. Is he God? The devil, shaitan. No, this is your language. This means he is in control, so you say he is God. Moses is God to Pharaoh, and you Jews are all gods. That is the genius of the Jewish language. Now, you can't say, come for divinity on that. He said, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods, and the scripture cannot be broken, means you can't contradict me. Say ye of him whom the Father had sanctified and sent into the world, that thou blasphemest, because I said, I'm the son of God, which is nothing, man. God has got sons by the tons in our community, in our language. Why are you trying to find fault with me? When I'm only saying I'm the son of God. When others are called gods. Hmm. <clears throat> if you ask me if I got my answer, I don't think I did. I will give you reasons because he also answered this perfectly. I will tell you like he made sense in what he was saying. But when I started video, video was kind of, I will say, they were kind of, let me not use the word embarrassing Christians, but like, them saying the pastor can't say it without looking at the Bible. The Bible, the pastor is helpless, or those men, they are helpless without the Bible. And you see, you see now Christians are getting emotional. It's kind of like you're mocking the Christians. Prove me wrong, girl. but that was what I saw here. It was kind of like I'm mocking the Christians, and it would be wrong because no matter the religion, guys, it's wrong for you to mock anybody, it's wrong for you to put in this kind of test. But that aside, what he said, he kind of explained it, but I can still say that Jesus said, Uh, why are you complaining if I'm the son of God, but you or are called gods. Jesus can say that as defense because Jesus was a very, very smart person. Well, one of the smartest men that ever lived. So he, he isn't going to say something that will make you kill him. Like he's going to f find a way to get out of the situation. That is how he is. There are a lot of times they try to trap him and he kept on going out. So I wouldn't say because he said, I am, he said, I am my father of one. But he he changed it in a way, calling them, are you not gods? In the sense that, if he says he's a god, you will kill him. That's it, you will kill him. Why do you think, Jesus, you, what was Jesus sentenced for? Nothing. They just killed him for nothing. Because he did no wrong and they killed him. That's it, guys. So, the answer, I didn't get satisfaction from it. I'm not saying what he said was wrong, but I personally didn't get satisfaction for it. 
And in Revelation, Jesus said he is the Almighty. And Jesus said we should accord him the same respect we accord to God. And Jesus said he is the first and the last. And that is the name among the 99 names of God. So, I just want you to know where some Christians are coming from. Because I don't, I don't think Jesus and God is the same thing. I feel Jesus is the Son of God. And I feel me saying Jesus is the Son of God makes more sense than me saying Jesus is God. And if you want to say God does not be God, and God was not begotten, I will say God can do anything. Anything, yes. He is all powerful. Can limit his power, guys. So that is for me. And I am not satisfied with this answer, to be honest. If you want to educate me, guys, please educate me in the comment section. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.